What's up, my brothers and sisters? It's Christian Gamer Foxtrot here, and today um, I've got a different video for you guys. This one discussing the Sonic movie. Now, as you know, Sega's confirmed it. There's going to be a Sonic movie releasing in 2019. Well, I did some research today, and we actually really don't know pretty much anything about it. In fact, the only two characters that we know of that are confirmed for this movie are Sonic and Dr. Eggman. Of course, we know it's a live-action CGI, so there's probably going to be some humans, maybe a human main character for all we know. Uh, but, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I mean, probably, but we can't say for sure. So... What I thought I'd do, since there's little to no information, and since nobody can, <laughs> nobody really knows uh, who is going to be in this movie, I decided that I would create a list of my top ten characters that I would like to see uh, come back for this movie, other than the ones previously mentioned. You know, Sonic, Dr. Emma. I'm leaving this off the list because they're already confirmed. So, already confirmed characters, I I'm going to leave out of this. I'm also leaving off the Archie Comics characters because honestly, let's just be honest, I I kind of don't really see them coming into this movie. Um, I think it's going to be based more off the games and not on the comics. Not to mention, considering Sega just ended its deal with Archie, that probably wouldn't be the best idea to go, to go with, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, so let's get into it with number 10. Oh, you guys are so going to hate me for this. Number 10, Big the Cat. Yep. Yep. J just big. I know, I know. This seems like a stupid choice, but hear me out and you'll understand why. What's happened with Big the Cat in recent in recent years? He's become something of a meme for the Sonic fan base. And as any of you who follow uh, Sonic's Twitter page by Aaron Weber, uh, he's constantly creating memes for this. And Sega loves uh, doing stuff like this, or at least Aaron does. So I feel like they throw big in there just as like some sort of meme for like everybody else i mean i now i'm not saying that big's gonna be a main character or whatever like oh i gotta go find froggy for 30 minutes of this movie no i highly doubt that uh that's gonna happen mostly because uh fans would not like that um if anything I'd see him more of just like a reference, like he was in Sonic Adventure 2. Like maybe just sitting somewhere, Sonic talks to him for, well, I guess that's more than in Sonic Adventure 2. In Sonic Adventure 2, he was just hiding in every level. But still, you get what uh, I'm saying here. Uh, yeah, so that's really all there is for Big. I could see Sega doing this, and that's why I decided to include him. <clears throat> okay. So that's why Big gets number 10. Number 9. The E100 series, excluding Gamma and Omega. Now, why did I throw these guys in here? Well, let's be honest. Dr. Eggman has been known for his robots. And, well, some of his most famous ones were the E100 series. I mean... True, there's the bad Nicks, and a lot of people think about them. But I kind of would really be interested in see in seeing the E100 series, evil robots, make a return. I'd like to see Sonic take their hand at them. Maybe they'd be some strong robots that he has to take down. Some really powerful foes he has to face. It might be really interesting. I'd actually really like to see that. Um... I mean, in terms of character, there's really no reason to throw them in, but in terms of nostalgia and just to have some more, like, villain, uh, variety than just Dr. Eggman sending out a bunch of random robots, at least 
Sega could uh, try and throw something that we'd remember. So yeah, that's why the the E100 series, you know, Zeta, Alpha, Beta, they, or the uh, Epsilon, thank you, thank you, Brain. Uh, um, get number nine. Number eight. Number eight goes to Number eight goes to a little fan favorite of mine, known as Tails. Yeah, so the reason I placed Tails so low on this list is because he's probably actually going to be in the movie, like, already. I mean, even though it's not confirmed that he's in the movie, I put him this low because he probably is. I mean, if he's not, um, if he's not in the movie, it's... I, I would question why. Like, he's been with Sonic ever since Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and he's pretty much appeared in every single game since. Like, I mean, granted, there are a few games that he wasn't in, but he, for the most part, he's been in, like, every Sonic game. <clears throat> for the most part. So I could see him returning. However, if he doesn't return, this could um, mostly be because they're focusing more on Sonic and it could show that maybe they're making a sequel and Tails would uh, hence be in the sequel. However, since we don't know if something like that's going to happen, Tails probably will be in the movie, but I thought I'd throw him in there as well. Alright, so Tails gets number eight. Number seven. Uh, similar to Tails, this one is Knuckles the Echidna. Now, I could understand them leaving Knuckles maybe out of this, but just like just like with Tails, he's kind of been with Sonic for a really long time, and the three of them make the, the Sonic heroes, and having, like, all three of them would be awesome for the movie. Like, maybe the movie could, like, be a non-canon way of the three of them meeting each other and then taking on Eggman. But if Knuckles isn't in it, that's kind of a little more understandable than Tails not being in it because, I mean, Tails has kind of been there. Knuckles, he's just, Knuckles has been there, but he hasn't been there nearly as much as uh, Tails has. So, sorry, Knuckles. I guess that's actually a reason to make him higher on the list since he's actually a little less likely to appear. But anyway, Knuckles gets spot number seven. Number six. Here's another character who I actually am kind of so-so about. Uh, Amy Rose appearing in the Sonic movie. Now, I know, I know, everybody, like, talks about Amy, how she's a little annoying. And I, I kind of want her to be there, though, because, like, with... Tails and Knuckles she's been around there a lot um and it plus it probably pokes some humor in there with the whole uh Amy chasing Sonic around kind of thing maybe being the whole damsel in distress kind of thing kind of like Princess Peach is in the Mario series I don't really play the Mario series that much now that I think about it um um, but you get my point. Amy could, uh, provide some humor, some comic relief, or she could actually, uh, chasing Sonic around, uh, fighting with the, uh, the Pico Pico hammer. Uh, it's, it, a lot of things are possible, so we'll just see. Uh, but yeah, that's really all there is to say about Amy. She, I could see them leaving her out if they wanted to, but at the same time, I see it as a very high possibility that they, uh, that they probably will throw her knuckles and tails in. So yeah, Amy gets number six. All right, number five technically, I guess, isn't a, isn't a new character. I mean, Sonic's confirmed to be in this, but I'm gonna say this anyway. Number five, Super Sonic. Now, there's a good reason why. Now, I 
I imagine in the movie they'll probably throw the Chaos Emeralds in, probably give us the actual lore behind the Emeralds, like where they came from, how their power is actually used, much like in the whole Ratchet and Clank thing with the whole weapon system. I never saw the movie, but I did hear that part. And actually, I really want to see the Ratchet and Clank movie because it actually sounds really, really good. Um, but I think... Uh, there is a possibility that Supersonic won't return in this movie. And the reason I say that is because in some of the recent games, uh, Sonic Boom, Sonic Colors, and Sonic Lost World, um, Supersonic hasn't really been in those games. Um, he's just been... Uh, he was kind of like... Well, technically he was in Colors in Lost World, but you had to unlock, like, the red star rings and everything. Like, he wasn't, like, a canon way of playing the game. Like, you could beat the game, but never in the story mode would he ever go supersonic. And it kind of makes me think, like, sure, he did it in Generations, and he's probably going to do it again in Forces. But other than that, I highly don't see this happening. And although fans would probably really want Supersonic to return, there is the possibility that uh, Supersonic won't return. And that's actually why I placed him at number five on this list. Um, but yeah, as much as I want to see Supersonic return, there is the possibility that he won't. And that's why I threw him up this far. I mean, granted, I could be completely wrong and he may be 100% confirmed. Eggman won't may get all the emeralds, then Sonic will go super in the end by coming into contact with them to finally bring down, like, the evil guy or something. Uh, bring down Dr. Eggman. But, yeah, that's all I can really say for right, n for right now. With the way he is in the games, he might not return, and there just may be Sonic collecting the emeralds but not using them. Either way, we really don't. We really don't know. I mean, what I said, I know it kind of sounds far-fetched. They probably are going to throw Supersonic in, but just on the off chance that I don't, I thought that, that, I thought that I'd include it. And I know technically Supersonic uh, is just Sonic Super Form, but technically, uh, I guess you could consider it a second character, depending on how you look at it. I don't know. But yeah, Supersonic gets number five. Number four is actually one of the coolest characters in the Sonic, uh, in the Sonic uh, games, despite originating from probably one of the worst games of all time, um, Silver the Hedgehog. Now, I know, I know, I know. This one seems really far-fetched. But there's a reason why I placed him here. Now, I... Now, let's be honest. Silver appearing in the Sonic movie. Um, the only way they do that is if they were going to throw in, like, every character maybe ever. Or maybe pull some, like, alternate dimension type thing. But, I know. The chances of Silver being in this movie are really low. But still, I thought I'd throw Silver in here because Silver's just awesome. He's got, like, so many powers that'd be awesome to see on a big screen. Um, that Sega could really take advantage of. And if he's not a in this movie, Sega, please make it. Please make a sequel or a trilogy and throw Silver in there. Please? I I'd really like to see it. Yeah, so I thought I'd throw Silver up there anyway. I know, he probably won't be in the movie. Like, really, really low chance of him actually being there. But I thought I'd throw him in on the less. Number three. Okay, technically this isn't a character that we've seen before, but based on the way Sega does things, I'm going to have to go with an OC villain. Now, here's what I mean by this. Let's be honest. Sega is really good at throwing in new characters every Sonic game. And I could make a list about that, but then I'd make this video probably another 15 minutes long. Considering we're almost at 15 already, you guys probably don't want that. But you guys get the you guys get the idea though, that Sega is really really good at throwing new villains in, and I could see them doing something like that with the movie as well. I mean, who's to say that Eggman really is the true evil behind it all? 
Uh, Sonic could defeat Eggman, think it's all over, and then some new dark enemy appears and says something like, He was just a pawn this entire time. I'm the true villain behind all of this. Well, maybe not those exact words, but you get the idea. Uh, a more sinister foe. And considering the way Sega is with new characters and everything, this would actually be a really original work and actually would hype people up to see the movie. I mean, just like it's kind of this new villain, Infinite, is hyping everybody up for Sonic Forces. We want to know what's behind the mask. Where do his powers come from? How is he supposedly faster than Sonic? And something like that in the movie with, a, with an OC villain would be awesome. So yeah, OC villain, I can't really say what you'd be. Maybe you'd be a hedgehog. Maybe you'd be some, some new robot that we haven't seen in the games. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or maybe you'd be like in Shadow the Hedgehog. You'd be like a gun enforcer or something. Alright, but that's enough for now. Number two. Metal Sonic. Oh yes, this would be awesome. And in fact, I can really, really see this happening in, in the movie. Eggman needs a robot that he thinks can face off against Sonic. And he throws out Metal there. And seeing Sonic and Metal fight on the big screen, I know they've done it before in the 1996 or 1999 Sonic OVA. I don't... It's one of the two. I think... I've heard... I did a quiz, and apparently it's 1996, but I've also heard it's 1999, so I won't say with confirmation. But anyway, Sonic... Um, Metal Sonic coming back would, like, makes a lot of sense considering how much he, how much of, like, a staple he is in the series. He's very important. One, he's Dr. Robotnik's best creation, like, ever in terms of robots. And he and Sonic fighting in, like, an actual live CGI movie would probably look fantastic. Fantastic, and also just how popular this character really is and everything like that I mean I could really see this happening and in fact I'd really like to see it in a movie in the Sonic movie but yeah Metal Sonic I'm sorry I didn't give you the number one place but I'm pretty sure the number one spot is deserved by this other character that I'm about to say but before I do that I actually thought of something um Sort of like an honorable mention, I guess. Or something I really should have included. Um, maybe. Uh, are the gun officers, actually. I mean, we're probably going to see, like, some sort of government. But hopefully gun returns as that government. I mean, it kind of just be, like, a missed opportunity if Sega didn't do that. So, yeah, the gun officers are probably going to return as well. But they're not number one on this list. But you're probably going to be happy about who is. Number one. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, oh, yes. Shadow the Hedgehog in the movie. Just like Metal Sonic, I could see this happening. Shadow and Sonic have been added ever since Sonic Adventure 2. And this fight would be excellent in a movie. We had something like it in, uh, in Sonic X, but seeing it in a full-fledged CGI movie would be awesome. Uh, I'd really like to see the, t the way of the teleportation and the super fast speed and everything like that. It'd be awesome. Uh, Shadow's just got so many abilities that, um, can be taken advantage of in the movie. So, yeah. I mean, not to mention, I mean, it's Shadow for crying out loud. I mean, he's way more likely to get into the movie than, like, Silver or anything with cool powers. But Shadow would so be worth it. And let's not even uh, forget. <clears throat> let's not even forget. I mean, there's a possibility that Shadow may not be in this movie. But if they did, I could imagine them like Sonic defeating Eggman and then the credits roll. But then just like in a Marvel movie, there's a post credit scene. And in that post credit scene is like Shadow. Uh, like setting up for a sequel or something. So even... 
So, like, there's just so much possibility with this movie. And Shadow p would play either a big part in it or, like, some post credit scene, a fight with Sonic, maybe setting up, setting up for a sequel with the post credit scene, as I said. Yeah, I mean, the possibilities... Nah, I, I don't want to say the possibilities are endless. Nah. But I've drug on... I've dragged on or drug on long enough, everyone. So there you go. There's top ten char the top ten characters are, I guess in terms of the E series, characters plus series of characters that I'd like to see return or make their debut or you know, just uh, just appear in the in the Sonic 2019 movie. So, please leave in the comments below what characters you'd like to see return. Uh, that'd be awesome. Well, if you want to. you Totally up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it dragged on so much, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. And regardless of if you did or did not, have a God-blessed day, everyone.